We got a tool review, kind of tool, somewhat a tool. We got a shop vac review next. I'm Rick, and this. Shut the heck up, you stinking boosters. <laughs> this is the shack. Hey everybody, welcome. New to the channel, first time stopping by. Thank you so much for taking some of that valuable time out of you. I truly appreciate that. Always ask that you would consider subscribing if you do. Ring the bell so you're notified when my videos do come out. Today, I want to quickly go over a brand new shot bag. Well, not new, but for me, new. The one I have is over 20 years old. I bought this specifically to mount to a dust collection system. If you want to see anything on that, I'll put a link right there. So click on that and you can check out my dust collection or I should say my mobile dust collection system. But for this video, we're going to unpack it, check it out and kind of compare it from the newer version versus a 20 year old plus version. Kind of compare the two and see if there's any major differences, if it's gotten better, if it's gotten worse. So I got it right here. Let's get it out of the box and compare the two. So here is my brand new shop vac and I got it from Lowe's. Now, one thing I noticed right off the bat, my old one is six and a half horse. This is only six horse, so they've gotten cheap on the motor, dropped it down. But six horse is still pretty good. Uh, but I noticed some different major differences in it. And once I get this out of the box, I'll have them side by side, and we'll just kind of go through the comparison. Now, here are the new and old. Old being on the left, new on the right. As you can see, just looking at it, they are a lot different. The one, my older one looks a bit bigger versus the newer one. And if you notice the broom and the mop in, the one on the left, my older one is all metal versus the new one now is all plastic. So let's take a closer look. Now everything that comes in this new one, you have of course all your manual paraphernalia, you have a screen that goes around your filter on the inside and they actually give you a filter bag for this. Screws, some hardware for the stuff. Uh, I'm thinking this is to mount the accessory thing on. Now you get four casters, pretty cheap. I'm not even going to use those. This is possibly handles, I think, for the side what it looks like. This is the tube for the hose. Plug it in and you can hook, hook the uh, attachments onto that. And these are your attachments. And also comes with this accessory attachment you can put on somehow. So I'm wondering if these screws are for that. Screws on somewhere, I don't know. I really couldn't find a place, so you may just drill holes or something. But basically, cheap little thing here to set your accessories onto. Just sets on there like that. And the accessories themselves real cheap and then the vacuum nozzle mop in where you want to call it very cheap and then the unit itself is all plastic just has a little broom type whisper thing right here versus the old one attaches with these little buttons push in slide off so it stays on there cast metal and if you compare the side, it's a good two inches wider, heavy duty, it's all metal. You have the insert here for the broom function, or you have a squeegee to insert here if you want to use it as a wet vac. Nice heavy duty. The unit itself is all metal, really good heavy duty. The little handheld unit itself comes with two attachments, again, you can Attach that on there, it's more of a squeegee type of thing. Or like this, I use in my cars a lot uh, to vacuum out. Whereas this one just has that, nothing. No other attachment, nothing, cheap. And of course you have your nozzle. And I use that for car getting in, and the seats in between seats down in crevices and corners. And that basically hasn't changed, except my old one is a little bit longer. Actually, it's even thinner 
basically everything that it comes with in the accessories they have really gotten cheap set those aside and let's go over the tanks themselves now on, on the side you see this has big wheels and a single caster in front versus now you got these cheap I mean really cheap this looks like junk you get on a uh, mobile file cabinet you know cheap little wheels roll around these aren't going to last in a shop that's for damn sure this is still the original roller on front still the original wheels on the back heavy duty been around for 20 years this is proven that's junk flip this one around you have this bucket here that holds everything in here so if I wanted to take these apart and I usually don't because I'm using it all the time you got two holders there for the pipes themselves I'll pop this one off sits there and this one can sit here and then you just set these in there and you have all your attachments right there so you got everything that holds in there very very nicely and secure first this one that really has nothing anywhere this I have to read the instruction but looks like a me I can't even find a place on here that this would even fit I don't know the only thing I can tell you is on the back right here it's got slots so I'm guessing you could probably just put some something in there for now to hold it maybe you could put these two attachments since it's all you get anyway put that there and hold it and this goes into your hose so everything can get attached to it but not really nothing and if you see here this is one uh, this is a 14 gallon I think this is 12 gallon six and a half horse versus this is only six horse the width and height this one is uh, almost two inches taller this one is almost two inches wider so they've made it thinner and taller the only problem I have with that when you have your filter in here a smaller confined space to me is more restrictive for that filter to open up to really allow this to flow well so I think going thinner is a hindrance I don't know if it's true or not that's my thinking I'd rather have a little bit wider so that filter can open up expand around the edges easier and the other thing I noticed on the back here the only thing that's broke on this 20 years is this tab that holds on so I could unscrew this and that would hang on there and this is the vent I could hook the hose to this like this and use it as a blower but at least I have the option of this being on there to close it to keep things from getting in there and it vents through the side here versus this one it just vents out there all the time there's nothing on the side ports like this one vents through the side I'll plug it in and I'll show you real quickly plug it in my handy dandy little four-way outlet extension cord you want to see how to make something like this right about here I should have it I'll put a link right there check it out it makes it really handy to have something like this much better than just a single outlet much more convenient so plug those in I'll get my little rag here I got my rag and I'll show you how this thing blows out straight out really nothing to prevent anything getting in here that shouldn't on accident vacuum your cars you got kids playing around you got little ones they could shove two toys in there yeah we don't know how that's going to work out so I don't like that part so here's this one nothing here off the, off the side Here. nothing here blows out the side doesn't blow out here this is covered I mean if you out in the country maybe a critter gets inside there you never know I'm just saying and the and I've already tried it I don't know I must I am actually going to see about trying to get a cap on here 
drill a bunch of holes so it's still vents but prevent from anything being able to shove inside there on accident. I, I just don't like that. To me that's a safety feature that's missing. It should have something to cover this so I'm going to have to look into something like that. That's basically it. I am going to use this without all this. It is strictly going to be for the dust collection so I'm not worried about it. This is going to be for vacuuming in the shops, vacuuming out the cars. It is not going to be used for any dust collection anymore. But that's the comparison and you see the difference, how they've gotten. And I'm sorry, they've gotten cheaper. I, I, I got nothing to say. If I had a list of pros and cons, there would be no pros. It's all cons. It's all junk. And I hate saying that, but it's true. I don't see anything promising with newer version versus the old and I have had mine since I've been in this shop we've been here 16 years now nice metal handle big wheels and I've rolled this across my acre back and forth vacuuming the cars out when I wash them I pull them next to the house and I'll vacuum them there these cheap little casters that's stuff you get on cheap furniture like a uh, mobile file cabinet a little two door file cabinet that you're lucky of last year. It's just something temporary till you get a nice desk or a nice file cabinet. You, you wouldn't roll that around outside or in your shop because it would break. Wouldn't last. Crappy, cheap plastic casters, junk. Attachments, junk. The attachment for the vacuum, the tubing, plastic, junk versus metal. 16 years plus, still works. I, I really don't see any longevity in this new shop back I'm sorry they've really gone down I bought it because I've had such good luck with the old one I thought it would be good but I am extremely disappointed so if I was you and you're in the market for some type of a vacuum for your shop personally I think you just go somewhere else I don't think shop vac is even worth it I, I'm, I'm giving it no stars and <laughs> it's like this I, I, I'm speechless I am just speechless so I just hope it does what I want it to do for my dust collection. Again, I don't think it'll be up here, but look in the description below. I'll we'll have a link when that video does come out. So do remember to subscribe when you do ring the bell so you know when that video comes out because if you don't, you'll never know. That's it. I'm, I'm done. I'm just going to go in, finish this video. There's not much to say. It's just junk. Yeah, very disappointing. So thank you so much for watching. Be blessed. Take back check for your sanity. Oh, God, I hate when things take a dive and they get cheap and become crappy. Yeah, quality just went out the window. Shop back. I would never recommend you again now. Ah, we'll see you next video.